Okay, I ordered a three and a half pound trigger for my Glock. I'm going to attempt to put it in. Um, also, I finally found someone that had a Glock tool in stock. Uh, it seems like I've tried several times and it seems like they're always out of stock. So I finally have the prized Glock tool. And let's take the three and a half pound connector out of the bag. And so, I'm sure you've all seen these before. So, let's see, let me let this gun safe. Okay, so let's take the slide off. Got to pull the trigger. There we go. I didn't practice this this at all, obviously. I just, uh, you know, like typically what I'll do is if I decide to do something, I'll just grab my camera and mount it on the tripod and roll the camera. But um, I'm going to take these pins out. The the three pins. One, two, three. There, and we'll start. Let me see if I can get these out. That too much trouble. I will really here, just probably three times as long as a big duct tape. Then we do this. Take the first hand on the light, lay it over here. So I hope that you're not. It's not a word. This is one of the things I learned right away is that if this uh, second pin is hard to push out, do not force it, just wiggle the slide release a little bit. And that'll, that'll help it come out. And then, I do this up, you know, anyway. And we're just being smooth. No, not just a little curry. So now, uh, now that I'm going to do it for, I remember how to do it. I'm watching a few uh, videos. Let's see, see what I'm going to take this. I'm going to pop that first. There we go. Oops. I forgot about the side there. Silly. And obviously this is my piece, the piece here I want to change out. So what I want to do is just disassemble this slightly. There we go. And take a punch. Pull the other side. Get There we go. What I did was I took my Glock tool and kind of slid it up underneath it and then pushed on this end to get some leverage. So it popped out when I did that. One thing I want to do is kind of put these side by side and try to see what the differences are. See if I can do that with my greasy hands. This is the three and a half pound. That's the five pound. Uh, there's a little notch in the three and a half pound, and I'm not a gunsmith, um, so I had no idea. But there's a little notch right there in the three and a half pound. Um, but that is really the major difference I see. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Put it back in the way I took it out, and then try to rotate this back in. So, there's kind of a close up. Let's see if it'll go back in.
Does that look right? <laughs> okay, so I'll put our hands back in the order. Let's see if we can get out. Oops, too far. Yeah, just doing it. There we go. You don't want to use something like that. Keep your pen on the other side. I'll hold the side of the other side here. I can do that. I'm not even. They say you can go crazy trying to get those exactly <laughs> even. Okay, so I'll put a lot of water back in. Snapper ring. And the bottom pin. And the side of the back And try to get that in. That in. Okay, so that's what works. Our side back on. I thought that was just supposed to. Oh, I see what I did. I don't have the spring back in properly. Let's see if I can fix that right quick. Oh, look, I messed all together. Huh. I thought that was too easy. Let's see if I can fix that. Right. Well, it does seem lighter. What I'm hoping is is that um, I don't have really long hand, big hands or long fingers. And I think what's happening is on my pistols when I go to pull, uh, I'm I don't have a lot of you know around. You know, if you have short fingers, you're almost pushing. You're pushing on the pistol as you're pulling the trigger, and I think that's causing me to you know miss my bullseye so what i'm hoping is this lighter trigger will allow me to pull straight back you know make it easier to pull the trigger but i'm going to go to the range and test that theory Much better.